first of all, actually, it's really weird because Jabba appears to live in a nightclub. Yeah. <laughs> That's really Pete. He's basically, you know he's Peter Stringfellow. Yes, yeah. Um, so he basically lives <laughs> in a like nightclub. I live in a fucking <laughs> disco, mate. What? <laughs> what, you mean you own a disco? Yeah, I own it, but I fucking live there as well. Why? Well, first off, Look at the fucking size of me. It's not easy getting about. So yeah. uh, as a as a rule, wherever I <clears throat> lay my hat, that's my home. Because yeah. it takes me that long to get from A to B. It's much easier for me that's to it. build like a dream rig around <laughs> myself that is just like a, a disco in the middle of the desert. Yeah. yeah and amazing. I just have like, I've got everything. I've got loads of sycophants. Then I've got loads of sexy dancing alien birds. And... Yeah. I got all that, and on top of that, down below, I've got a secret monster dungeon that I, I can mean, chuck people is, in. Did anyone live it right better than Jabba the Yeah, <laughs> I've got it fucking made, way. mate. Oh, I thought you were going to say there that maybe you just like went to a you know nightclub. It was so fat, you just couldn't leave. You know, you just yeah, so you just it, bought so you it. Just, just, just fucking bought it. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, I'm too knackered to get. I'm just going to buy the gaff and stay here forever. Yeah, like, yeah, but um. <laughs> Well, I think that is, and of course, that's a really strong theory, actually. I think that's literally what happened, yeah. So I love the fact that when, when C-3PO and R2-D2 are first turning up, they're greeted by what I thought was the scariest character in Star Wars history, Bib Fortuna, yeah. who just looks like the fucking elephant man. Yeah, Disney. yeah, and I thought he was really scary. Yeah, um, and also, so did, thought, did, uh, did you think that like there was all this chat about Jabba the Hutt? Mm. Yeah, and in yeah. the build up, everyone was talking about, and you, you know, in the paper, it'd say this new Star Wars yeah. film has a new villain who is a monster and he's called Jabba the Hutt, but no one knew what Jabba the Hutt looked like. No. That bit that you're talking about when they knock yeah. on the door, knock, knock, and he answers the door. And I thought, I mean, I was only like eight, these. I was like, that's him, that's Jabba mm. the Hutt. And I was satisfied with yeah. that. I thought he, he looks sufficiently he's scary. Horrible, mate. Yeah. Yeah. I'm here with Michael Carter, the actor portrayed Bib Fortuna in Return of the Jedi. You've, you've said before, Bib Fortuna is very famous, but you not so much. Bib Fortuna is very famous. Yes. I'm hardly known within my own family. <laughs> so. Do you remember? I think what we said on Empire Strikes Back. So the only thing Empire Strikes Back lacks is it doesn't have my favourite thing in Star Wars, which is a Star Wars pub scene. Yeah. Star Wars yeah. booze is the same. Absolutely yeah. the best of all. Always good, yeah. It's also got a Star Wars band in it, hasn't it? With, yeah. um, the, with the blue elephant playing the xylophone or whatever. Yeah. And uh, the, the bird that's just a sort of sort of fat mid lips, and I don't know what's going on there. But yeah. um, I think it's called Max Rebo's band. I <laughs> do remember the band is. Well, the thing, the thing about thing that is, band is, is um, that they're really good. Uh, I mean, the, maybe I'll say so. They're a good band in the original version of the film. But I feel that this scene, it's a, I agree with you, it's a fucking all-time great scene. The, the whole first 20 minutes of the film, or however long it is. But when he did the new versions, I think in the late 90s, and it, because he had all this new technology, I think there's various things in all three yeah. films that he did just because he could. He embellished the film yeah. and it made it less good. And that is a classic thing because he, he adds to that because they just had done That's it, right, they yeah. filmed it for real with... Mm. actors or whatever or puppets and animatronics and, and puppets yeah. yeah and he he stuck in bits there's a bit where that singer you're talking about where she goes right into the camera with her lips and it right. gets very cartoonish and it's they, yeah. they elongate the scene basically right and i felt yeah. disappointed but anyway yes i agree no and i, I um but I, I i do agree with you in that but the disco in jabba's palace doesn't look shit it looks mm. fucking blinding doesn't it and the music does, is, yeah. I've always quite liked that song. Did, did it, did, did it. Oh, no, that's the one that's, from A New Hope. That's, no, you're, that's, you're, you're, yeah, um, that's from you're, the you're um, Cantina, this isn't one, it? This one goes a bit like this. <laughs> <laughs> it goes a bit like yeah. that. This yeah, you're right, bit, it does. It does go a bit like that, anyway. I but it, it certainly feels like the same genre as the band in the Moss Eisley Cantina. It does, yeah. It's part of the... I mean, obviously, that it might be... Then You know what it's like on the local band scene. Probably on it's the often, same label. Yeah, or like one... Like, oh, I, I used... I was guitarist in that band, but now I also yeah. play some... Music. There's so much incest goes on in, in like, local yeah. band scenes. So yeah. there's probably... There's certainly hints of the of mm. the sort of sound we've heard in A New Hope, and it's a sound I like. 
Composer John Williams wrote the music. His son Joseph wrote the lyrics. For the film, the song would be translated into Hatties, Jabba's language. Think about it, man. You've got everything. You've got all that. You've got um, the car, the, um, what's his name? The carbonated fucking... Yeah. Uh, See uh, that? Uh, over there, he's some yeah. bloke who tried to fucking mug me off, right, yeah. in a business deal. Look yeah, at him now. Yeah, no cut off now. I keep, I keep him fucking frozen <laughs> on my wall. Don't, he's, don't, he's fucking, there. don't muck around with me, mate. You'll end up on my wall frozen. <laughs> like a work of fucking art. Yeah. Um, You've obviously got Leia in a, in this like in a, bikini. I think yeah, everything's been yeah. that. It's bloody marvellous. It, 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 it probably... It, it is we became, dis- we became main overnight, didn't we? It, it, um, it, don't, it, it, yeah, we won't go too far into that. It's too, because, too much of an obvious thing. Although I would say it is despicable that mm. she's turned up to rescue yeah. her boyfriend. Well, he's not even her boyfriend at that stage, but she's gone to rescue her mate. And mm. she has attempted a fucking mm. ballsy... Ballsy. Like heist, yes, so yeah. to speak, yeah, heist, right? Yeah. And Jabba <laughs> is such a despicable cunt that he just he catches her and then he goes, Do you know what I'm gonna do? <laughs> I'm not gonna kill you. I'm not gonna kill you. I'm gonna fucking chain you to me in a bikini. <laughs> because in many ways, that's worse than death, isn't it? It's, <laughs> yes, it's really it is. I'm gonna strip yeah. you of your dignity. <laughs> and it's really it's vile and he is described as a vile gangster in the opening crawl the vile yeah. gangster Jabba the Hutt yeah. I mean yeah. he is truly vile I, mm. I've always wanted to ask you your opinion on one particular thing but what, what do you think of Salacious Crumb mate do you think that he's got a shout yeah. being the biggest prick in in the whole of the Star Wars universe yeah it, it definitely is and I'll tell you what <laughs> no hesitation I think, I think he'd fucking revel in that I, I yeah, think he's going to be yeah. pretty Star Wars. Yeah. I think we've said before, haven't we? We we love Salacious Crown. What a great, what a legendary character. But the thing is, do you know why everyone talks about Salacious Crown and quite likes him or or, yeah. or he gets a big yeah. reaction? It's yeah. because everyone has known a Salacious Crown. Salacious Crown. Exactly. Because yeah. he's the little grinning rat uh, prick. prick. Yeah, who hangs around with the hard nut. With the hard nut, yeah. Yeah. And that's what he is. He's a classic film character in many ways before this. Mm. So they mm. thought, we, we need a little... He also, do you know what? He's a bit like, not that this guy's a prick, but he's almost a bit like the, the Bez to Jabba the Hutt's Sean Ryder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. In that he's there for vibes, isn't he? Like, he's yeah. keeping the whole vibe of... Yeah, fucking, I mean, I can see why Jabba but, keep, as he likes having him yeah. around. Hey, sweetheart, I like him red. I reckon this is about 20 minutes at the start of the film, this whole Jabba the Hutt thing. Yeah. But it's almost the main thing anyone thinks about when they think no, of the is, Return of the Jedi, it, right? It's the it best is, bit of the film, without a doubt. Yeah, it, don't yeah. Even, it is. Don't I mean, I, I, I love this film, the whole of it, but yeah. that is but the that best. Is the, it's one yeah. of the best starts to a film ever. It is, right? absolutely. And, yeah, it's amazing. And, but it, just in those short 20 minutes, mm. Jabba the Hutt commits so many... Mind-boggling <laughs> acts of cuntishness, and that's what's amazing about it. Do you know what I mean? I tell, tell you what, he's not a Renaissance man. He's, he's, he's not like it's not like this bloke's a bit of a cunt, but we're going to slow burn it. It's like bang, you're in, right? And one by one, all of the heroes come one by one after the other, and he just goes nah and fucks all of them in increasingly. He's already he's got hands like frozen on the wall, right? Uh, the droids turn up. They they show a message and he's like, fuck that. No, not listening to that. In fact, I'm going to enslave both of you cunts, right? And you're like, oh, no, right? Then fucking Leia turns up in her, in her mask and he's like, nah, I'm going to enslave you as well. In fact, I'm going to chain you to me in a bikini. Because- oi, oi, slaces, knock up a quick gold bikini, will you, son? Yeah, cap them out and get us a gold bikini in her size, will you? What size are you, sweetheart? You look, you look like a... What are you, Nate? No, I'm not being rude. Oh, you're sick, all right? Well, I'll tell you what, some of these gold bikinis, they do come up a bit... They come up a bit small. A bit right? snug. So I'm going to tell him to get you an eight, yeah? yeah. It's not, no, it's no problem, because if it don't fit, I'll send him back out. Go on, son. Right. Now, what's next? Right, here comes Luke Skywalker. Fucking hell. I'll chuck him straight in the underground dungeon with that monster <laughs> getting eaten. How about that? The scene where Runk, the Runcorn dies 
um, <laughs> and yeah. is squashed by a spiky gate. And mm. when his owner comes out, I said that's the saddest scene in the whole <laughs> all nine Star Wars films. In the whole Star Wars galaxy of movies, <sighs> it's the saddest bit, isn't it? It's even sadder than when Han Solo gets killed by his own son. <laughs> <laughs> I what I think is, and I don't know what I, like politi- that, I, I don't know what the, like the, the, the politically correct term is, mm. but I think he is a bit touched in the nut. <laughs> I do. I think that Jabba's hired him, uh, and he's going, "Oh, uh, hello now. What I've got a lovely little job for you." And he's yeah, on these geese. Why would you take that gig? Yeah, he's a bit. He's a bit. Oh, yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, I could do with a bit of work. He goes, yeah, it's dead easy, right? I want you to go down there and all you have to do is look, look after this monster, right? And go, oh, what do you keep a monster down there for, Jabba? He goes, don't worry about that, right? That's my business. Don't worry. He, he, does, after. he does little bits of work. Maybe little bits of work, this and that. Oh, what, like admin and that? Yeah, sort of, yeah. Anyway, look, you don't need to worry about that. All you need to do, right, is go down there. You've got to clean up his shit. Right, when he's doing his shits and all that, right, you've got to shovel that up because it'll cause a right stench and you've got to feed him and just sort of keep him sweet, really. You go, yeah, all right. And then, like, he's sort of <laughs> like, oh, he's become my best friend, Jabba. And they go, yeah, that's right. He's your mate, isn't he? You love him. Stro- yeah. Don't stroke him too yeah. hard. Mm. I'm now thinking maybe he was crying, really, because come to think of it, he's obviously out of a job, isn't he? Yeah. The rank, if the Jabba's, rank on Jabba's very dead, going, nah, I'm sorry, he mate. Need, he don't need a keeper for its rotting well, corpse. Is there anything he? else I can do, Jabba? I can do anything. I could clean up. I could serve yeah. drinks and all that. Uh, so, no. Shall I get in the gold bikini? No, 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 no listen, no. don't. Don't no, stop crying, mate. Listen, I've got I'm staffed up to the eyeballs as it is. I ain't got any if I had an opening, hand on heart, rank on keeper, <laughs> you'd be the first name on my list, but I ain't. Right? And he'd be whispering outside his isolation crowd, fuck me, I mean the bloke's touching the nut. I mean he could just about shovel shit with that monster, but I'm not having him front of house. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs>